Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I'm going to be talking about Firebase Studio. Project IDX has now been acquired and turned into Firebase Studio. And what made Project IDX great was that it was basically a branch of the Visual Studio code that could be run in a browser, thus allowing you to deploy code live in an environment whilst editing it in that same environment, which means development is going to be so much faster and it's going to be allowing you to prototype websites in a much more efficient way. Uh, the Firebase Studio will have the correct uh, package libraries for the environment that is hosted in Firebase. So it's going to try and offer you the best environments that you can run. Uh, this is comparable to systems like Vercel's V0, which also try and run Next.js specific applications in a Next.js environment um, and allow you to build prototypes and websites in that too. But this allows you more flexibility and customizability. And what's even great about this is that if you have a google api um, for ai you can run your own versions of the most up-to-date state-of-the-art google apis for ai including the currently the best which is flash 2.5 pro experimental what's really cool in this video i'm going to show you guys how we can mock up a chat interface for a nan workflow we've created if you guys haven't seen the video already on nan i posted one on how you can use mcps within nan and host nan on your own Docker container locally. So you can develop on NAN for free and have that ready to go, experiment on it, and even use it for proof of concepts and just getting automations on the ground without having to pay for the cloud version. Of course, having a cloud version is great because it allows you to utilize the webhooks and APIs directly from the NAN um, domain. Ngrok endpoints is something that you can use to surface your own local uh, webhooks into the internet. It does leave your computer open and vulnerable to attacks unless you use correct authentication. So I do not recommend this. We're just going to use this for this video and then I'll be spinning it down and uninstalling it after this. But if you want to do this properly, I would recommend using NAN Cloud, which you can sign up for on their website. And um, it's a paid service. Just make sure when you're using NAN and you're running the webhooks or the chat functions that you do use a level of uh, user authentication. Uh, and set up credentials for that so you can keep the webhook API URL uh, secure and uh, free from malicious attacks. Now, let's get into the Firebase Studio. Um, here it is, is the when you log in, you get this view and you can start just working up a new workspace or even give it a new prototyping uh, prompt here. Face for my NAN Enchantic workflow. And that's all there is to it. You just press enter. It's going to spin up its own little virtual environment. It's going to start off with a plan. So it's going to create a chain interface. It's going to put style guidelines, iconography, prototype, this app button ready to go. So once you're happy with it, you can probably discuss it. But you can change it. Like I want the color scheme to be black, white and black with yellow accents. It's going to redo that whole thing, but it's going to have that teal yellow accent color here. Um, and we're just going to click prototype this app once you're happy with the plan. It's a nice, simple plan too, so it's pretty good. It's going to create a new prototype. It's going to do all the instances, oh, set up all the initial files. Actually, it looks like it's almost done. This is the chat interface now for the uh, chat page. So I think after this, it's going to try and deploy and run it using an NPM run in the back end. It wants to use a Gemini API key because it wants me to serve as a Gemini API for the AI, but we will probably tell it that. We don't need Gemini, we'll be using this. I don't know if it's working straight off the bat, but we're going to test it. Okay, so we're switching out of the prototype mode. The prototype's good, we have a chat function. So we're going to go into the studio mode now where it can show you VS Code interface. So that was to go a bit more understanding. This is more for the programmers. This is for the people that want to start actually getting the app to work. It will load the preview on the right here, hopefully. Um, what's beautiful is that if you have your API key set up ready, you can use the new 2.4 Pro um, instead of uh, instead of your built-in Gemini model. Go here. I'm gonna start a new chat. I'm gonna grab the 2.5 Pro preview, which is a much more advanced model that you have to pay for. Let's see if we can fix this error. We're going to remove the requirement for this moderate chat thing. This is of safe AI usage. It's trying to use Google's API endpoint to double check if the query into the search engine is safe or not. Um, 
probably not required because we are ready handling that within our agentic flow and we have stop gaps there for illicit messaging. So delete that file. All right. And with those final changes from the Gemini API, the paid API that gives us access to Flash 2.5 Pro Experimental, we were able to debug this and get the proper JSON structure format and be able to query the right endpoint using our ngrok API. Uh, so let's see if we can get this to give us an answer. It was able to receive the chat input from the API endpoint that we created and ship it. And we can basically see this in the full size here as well. If you wanted to run it here, it's all good. I'll ask it for the best baklava in Istanbul. Best baklava. So I'll ask it a question here. We should see another run come up here. Yep. Full executions running here. So as you can see, with Firebase Studio, we got a pretty shippable product, a good front end interface for our agentic chat automation that we built in NAN. Um, this is going to be a lot easier for you if you use NAN Cloud and um, connect it via the built in webhooks in NAN Cloud. We had to forward our um, local address through ngrok onto the internet, which is very unsecure. We'll be uninstalling that straight after this video. But as you can see, Firebase Studio allows you to build full functional applications, edit the code directly in the browser with its browser IDE, and even use Gemini's newest models to help uh, debug and fix some of those errors. But if you're not tech savvy, you can just always switch back to the prototype mode, which only uses the Gemini base model, which is from what, all I can tell free. So that's great. Build out POC, build out a proof of concept through the prototype tool, and it will still generate something pretty fantastical that you can utilize. And I wouldn't expect it to do a full functioning app with prototype mode. So that's why you, when you're going to need the IDE or code view. Um, but yeah, it's quite impressive to see what Firebase Studio has enabled. And I think the best part about it as well is um, when you're done with it, you have a button here called Publish and it opens up a little browser on the side here where you can deploy your own Firebase project in the Firebase console, link it to a billing account on Google so you can run it on the cloud infrastructure. And it's relatively cheap as long as you don't have a million plus users to utilize um, Firebase, so it's very good um, to set up a billing account and your environment, and then you can deploy your code directly and start hosting it on a domain or even publish it to the App Store. So it's quite impressive to see what's available here in Firebase Studio, and you can take your own NAN automations, build platforms for it, build front ends for it, and then get kind of interactivity shipped to your clients, which is pretty cool. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos on uh, specifics on how to run things or me playing around with AI tools, comment down below. Tell me what it, what you want me to try next. And if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please come on the journey with me as I explore everything that AI can do to help strengthen our business automations. And if you ever have any questions, please reach out. Thank you guys for watching.